This video discusses paragraph indentation and the different types of paragraph indentation and how to gather get those to work. I'm using Word 2010 for the demonstration. However, um, these instructions work for all versions of Word. Um, specifically, each feature will work in Word 2007 or later. If you take a look at the document now, I have typed five paragraphs and these paragraphs have no indentation at all. So that means that I have the default margins of one inch and the left and the right, so the text currently goes from the margin all the way to the margin. I'm going to go ahead and click in this second paragraph and I'm going to go ahead and indent it from the left only. In the home ribbon paragraph group there are two icons for indentation the one on the left will decrease the indent the one on the right increases the indent each time that I click increase indent you'll notice that the paragraph is indented half an inch from the left hand margin so if I click it again it would be indented an inch inch and a half two inches and if I click decrease indent it will bring it back to the left again in half inch increments Another way to change the indent is from the page layout ribbon. On the page layout ribbon in the paragraph group there is a specific area here for indent and here I can actually increase it in tenth of an inch increments by clicking on these up arrows rather than in half inch increments. And of course down would decrease the left margin, excuse me, the left indent. So um, personally I rarely come to the page layout ribbon and work with the indentations that are here um, but it's nice to know that that is available I also can click in here and put in any specific amount for example 0.85 and press the enter key and now it would be indented 0.85 and then of course click it again and type in a zero and press enter and it'll take it back to zero so the rest of the video though I'm going to work only with these indentation marks and other ways to change the um, indentation now notice again that since my cursor is in this paragraph, this is a paragraph item, so I don't have to have the paragraph selected, I just have to have the cursor in it. If I wanted the indentation to be to more than one paragraph simultaneously, I'd have to select both paragraphs and then click the indent icon and both paragraphs would be indented or decrease the indent to have them come back. So I'm only working in this paragraph. I just make sure that my cursor's in that paragraph and I want to make sure that my ruler's on. You can see the ruler here underneath the um, ribbon. If you don't have your ruler on, you could go to the view ribbon and there's a checkbox there that would turn your ruler off and on. Going back to the home ribbon. So you do want your ruler on. Notice each time you click the increase indent button, you actually are moving this little um, icon on along the ruler. So if I click the increase indent again, that icon moves to the uh, to the one inch mark. If I do it again, it moves to the inch and a half mark. Decrease indent, again it moves back in half inch increments. This icon is actually made up of two pentagons or triangles and a rectangle. If I point at that rectangle, notice the little box that says left indent. By pointing at the rectangle, I can click and hold and drag that to the right along the ruler anywhere and let go and it will take the indent to that exact point. Again, I'm only working with the left indent for this paragraph. If while dragging the icon I hold down the Alt key, I can actually see the exact indentation distance so I can see exactly where I'm leaving it when I let go. The crucial part here is that I am pointing at the bottom rectangle of that pointer. I will actually see that box that says left indent. So the icons can only go in half inch increments, but by dragging this along the ruler, I can move it in a variety of different indentation um, distances. So for this paragraph, if in my example, this is now indented half an inch from the left, and I just use the icon. For the next paragraph, I'm going to demonstrate a double indented paragraph. A double indented paragraph would be indented half an inch from the left and from the right. Generally, you only use it for quoted material that is more than five lines in length. When you have that, it should not be in quotation marks, but rather should be indented from the left and the right. To get the indentation on the left, I can use the increase indent icon, but again, that does only do right. If you remember on the page layout ribbon where I showed you this, I could get the right indentation here and it would take it to half inch. So you can see this is indented now over here on the right hand side. But if you look at the ruler, you'll actually see that this little right indent marker has moved. Similar to the other side, 
although here I only have the one little triangle, I can slide this to any point I want to along the ruler, and all it's changing is the indentation of the right side of that paragraph. The next indentation I'm going to demonstrate is a first line indent. Again, this is on the left, and with the first line indent, we want the first line of the paragraph indented half an inch, but not the rest of the paragraph. There is no um, ability for me to do that from the indent um, uh, arrow, scroll arrows on the page layout ribbon. Um, uh, this is something I would have to do either from the dialog box or from the ruler, and I'm going to demonstrate from the ruler. Remember I said this is two little um, triangles and a rectangle. Well, reality is the top triangle, notice if I hover over it, it says first line indent, is actually where the first line of the paragraph goes. So I'm in this fourth paragraph now, notice that's where my cursor is. So when I drag that top triangle over to the half inch mark, I am seeing only the first line come in half an inch. I didn't mess with the right indent, it's still out here at the margin where the gray and the white meets is the margin. I only moved the first line indent. Again, I can drag that anywhere along the ruler that I want. In my example, the half inch mark. And the last type of indentation I'm going to work with is called a hanging paragraph. Again, using that little um, marker on the ruler, the bottom triangle is the rest of the paragraph. See how when I hover over it, it says hanging indent? Be very careful. If you're too low, you'll be at the rectangle. You don't want to be there. You want to be up on the triangle. I'm going to click and hold and drag that to the right. Notice the rectangle goes with the bottom triangle. Okay. And once I've moved that to the right, I left the first line over here at the margin. I moved this in half an inch. I'm in this last paragraph. See how the first line stays at the margin, but the rest of the paragraph is hanging in. You um, actually use hanging indents most commonly with num bulleted and numbered lists, which we'll cover in a later lesson. The other way to um, change your indentations would be in the dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and go back up to this first paragraph that I indented from the left and take a look at the dialog box. Notice how for the indentation it is tagged right here as half an inch, zero on the right, nothing special. If I take a look at the next paragraph, which was indented from the left and the right, and I go into the dialog box, notice it has a left and a right of half an inch with nothing special. If I go to the next paragraph, which has that first line indent, and I open the dialog box, notice that it has zero on the left and the right, but over here under special it says first line by half an inch. And finally the last paragraph, which is has no indentation on the first line, but it has the rest of the paragraph indented half a line, known as a hanging indent. If I look at that dialog box, it's hanging at half an inch. Of course, these are all set for me because I set them on the icons, but I could have started off and just chosen these types of indents and settings within the dialog box if that's what I would prefer to do.